James was cross. The fat controller had sent him to collect Welsh coal for Henry. He grumbled as the trucks bounced behind him. It's not fair. I have to cover Henry's trains when he's sick. And now I'm his errand boy? Ridiculous! When the Welsh coal arrived, Henry was delighted. He'd never felt so well in his life. Look at him, swanking about, James complained to Edward. I fetched it for him, and I don't even get a thank you. I'm sure it's appreciated, Edward smiled. I must admit that coal has done wonders for Henry. Imagine what it might do for us. Edward meant this in jest, but James smirked. Hmm, I wonder. Get that idea out of your smoke box, frowned Edward. You know full well not to take that coal. Poor Henry has suffered enough. He doesn't need you pilfering the one thing that's making him better. James said nothing more, but he began making a plan. Over the next few days, James pestered his crew about the coal. No matter how he asked, the answer was always no. But James was persistent and wouldn't relent. He's insufferable, grumbled the driver. Perhaps we should just give him some. You know we can't, sighed the fireman. Then, an idea struck him. Hmm, unless... The fireman smirked and whispered his idea to the driver. Next morning, James's crew came early to the sheds. He was surprised to see them. You know, old boy, whispered the driver, you're right. You do deserve some of Henry's coal. Let's hurry to the bunker, but keep quiet. We'll be loaded up in a way before anyone notices. James was giddy, but did his best to contain his excitement. James backed down to the coal bunkers. He couldn't see what his fireman was doing. But he didn't give it a second thought. He sizzled happily. I'll show them. I'll show them, he thought cheekily. What James didn't know was that his fireman was shoveling regular coal into his tender. James had forgotten the bunker the other engines used was right next to Henry's. Soon, the fireman was finished. Right, James, he said. Off we go. James puffed away as quickly and quietly as he could. He arrived at the big station full of pride. He had plenty of steam and was so early that his train wasn't ready. Never mind, he scoffed. I'm so strong, I'll have this sorted in no time. James set to work, smoothly shunting the trucks in line. The trucks were surprised, but didn't want to jeopardize the newfound respect they were receiving. Soon, all was ready, and the guard blew his whistle. Here we go, here we go, James chortled. The trucks couldn't have held back if they wanted to. James took off like a rocket. James sped down the line. Hillsides and houses were a blur, and children pointed in amazement as he passed. Perhaps this wasn't such a good plan, remarked the fireman. The driver, trying to keep his balance, said nothing.
James was early at every station, made no fuss about shunting, and seemed to leave as quickly as he came. Every passing engine was quite surprised. By the end of the afternoon, James arrived back at the big station. He was sizzling in a siding, feeling very pleased with himself. Couldn't be better, he smirked. Why waste that special coal on an engine like Henry when I make much better use of it? I beg your pardon? James gulped. Walking towards him was the fat controller. I had come to congratulate you on your fine work today, he rumbled. But it appears we have another matter to address. As far as I'm aware, continued the fat controller, only Henry is permitted to use that coal. Now, is your name Henry? Uh, uh, no, sir, it, it isn't. Then why did you take that coal? At that moment, James's crew appeared. Pardon me, sir, said the fireman, but you've got it all wrong. By the time he'd explained the trick, James was aghast. So, all day I've been using regular coal? The driver, fireman, and even the fat controller burst out laughing. James blushed. Well, James, smiled the fat controller, I must apologize for my previous assumption. You did do a splendid job today. Hard work does not go unappreciated on my railway. He paused. James grinned in anticipation. As such, you will continue with Good's work for the remainder of the week. James was speechless. Now that we know what you're really capable of, it should prove no challenge for you. Besides, finished the fat controller, I'm sure it will dissuade you from any further schemes of taking Henry's coal. James did stay with Gus. He hated it, but wasn't about to disappoint the fat controller. He worked hard all week and was thankful when it was over. He was going back to the sheds when he saw Henry and Percy at the coal bunker. You know, Henry, giggled Percy, this coal makes me feel stronger than ever. Sounds to me like you've taken James's special coal, laughed Henry. James said nothing. He just sulked in the shed.